Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make your own extension cord. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing how to make an extension cord using the South African plug system. Now over here, I've got the cable, I've got what we call a Janus coupler, and then I've got the three prong plug. Now before I build the extension cord, I'd like to bring your attention to the current carrying capability of the cable. For example, here are two extension cords that are already built. The one on the right is only a 10 amp and the one on the left is a 16 amp. For example, if you look at these two extension cords side by side, and if you have a look at this cable, it's thicker than this cable. This is a 16 amp current carrying cable, and this is only a 10 amp. Usually the current carrying capability is imprinted on the cable itself. Over here it says 1.0 millimeter squared. This is a one millimeter cable, so this would be your 10 amp cable. On this cable you can see it's three times 1.5 millimeter squared, and it even says 16 amps per 25 meters maximum. So when choosing your cable, please decide if you're going to be using a thinner cable or the thicker cable. In this video, I'm going to be using the 1.5 millimeter cable, so it should be able to handle 16 amps, and this is for a domestic application, and the extension cord is only going to be 10 meters. Right, so I already have my cable, and for tidiness reasons, I'm not going to unravel the whole cable, I'm just going to work with the two ends. So over here, I've got the two ends of the 10 meter roll, and on the one side, I'm going to fit the three prong plug, and on the other side, I'm going to install the Janus coupler. Now, if you prefer to have a black extension cord, then you might want to get a black Janus coupler and a black three prong plug. One of the reasons why I like these plugs is they are rubberized. They've got a rubber coating, which is nice because extension cords often drop on the floor and these rubberized plugs are more robust and do not break as easily as the plastic ones. For example, over here, I've got three plastic top plugs, which are not ideal for making extension cords. Ideally, try to get one that is housed in rubber. As you can see, these two extension cords have a robust plug system with a nice strain relief over here which unfortunately ours will not have when we use these regular type plugs. Right, I'm gonna first put the plug side on and then I'm going to install the Janus coupler. Right, I just measure three centimeters from the end and I take my side cutters and I gently just cut through only the jacket. As you can see, I haven't gone through, I've just pierced the jacket alone. Now what I do is I bend it from side to side to break the PVC. And now I have the conductors. Now I take the live and the neutral, which is the brown and the blue, and I remove about eight millimeters of the wire. So you can see that the earth is slightly longer. Now I take a pair of wire strippers and I remove just about eight millimeters of the jacket. Right, now yours should look like this. I twist the wires. Right, this is called cab tie wire and you can see that it's flexible and the wires inside are stranded. Compared to this cable, you can see that this is a flat cable and the conductors are solid core. So as you can see, it is flexible, but this is unsuitable for extension cords. Right, now I'm going to wire this into the plug. And the brown is the live and the blue is the left. To know which side you put the wires, listen to the name, BRR for right, BLL -L for left. So the brown wire is the live and it's going to the right. Now this plug system works as follows, where you unscrew this and you can see there are two platforms that open and I just need to get the conductor, the wire inside there and then I tighten the platform. If your plug looks more like this, then what you'll do is you'll unscrew it and then you'll put your conductor inside there and then you will tighten it. On some plugs, it allows you to remove each prong. Sometimes that's easier to work with by taking it in your hand and then installing the wire inside. Notice that the jacket does not go underneath the platform. The platforms compress just the copper. I now seat the cable between these two wings. 
Right, I just need to move the live and the neutral a little bit away because as you can see the other side of this is going to push over there. So I'm just moving this wire a bit to the side and this wire a bit to the side. Right, at this stage just go around one more time and make sure everything is tight. Right, now you can close the cover. Right, do a check. You can see it's tight inside there. Even when I move this, there's no movement inside. Now, there are different types of Janus couplers available on the market. If you are choosing one, try to choose one that's got a nice strain relief. You can see there, that's got a nice strain relief. Well, this one over here only has a small one. This one over here has none, but it does have this protrusion here. Right, I've got three Janus couplers here just to show you what to do if you had any one of these type. Right, so there's the first one the second and over here is the third I just need to open up this small compartment which I've done now you'll notice that there are three connection points on each one of these couplers now I'm going to cut the cable I'm going to take three centimeters again when you cut the cable just make sure you don't nick any of the wires here you can see that none of these wires have been nicked now I'm going to remove about eight millimeters again Now on this side, I leave all the cables the same length. If you are in South Africa, try to use products that have passed the SABS standard. Right, now over here I've opened the three Janus couplers and I'm going to show you how to wire them. Whether you've got this type, this type or this type, I'm going to show you the principle of operation here. Now on most of the couplers, there is a label for where you put the wires. Now if you look closely, there's an L there, there's an E there and there's an N. That means that the brown wire must go here, the earth and the blue wire or the neutral goes here. So on this coupler, the live is on the right. If you have a look at this one, if you look closely inside there, there's an N. The N is actually this one. So on this coupler, the neutral wire is actually on the right. And this one over here has already been wired and you can see the neutral is on the right. But the only reason it's like that is because when I opened it, the fitting stuck to this side of the case. For example, if I swap it now, notice how the brown wire is now on the right. But if I had opened it and this was like that, notice how the brown wire is on the left. So when you open your coupler, look out for the labels and make sure the contraption is seated on the side where the labels are. Now this is the one I'm going to be using, so I'm just opening the slots here. And over here, there's a plastic piece that holds onto the cable so the cable cannot pull out. I'm going to open one side fully and the other side I'm just going to open a little bit. Right, so you can see I swing that to the side. And it's important to match the Janus coupler to the cable. If you have a look on the front here, it says 16 amps and this cable can handle 16 amps. Or not all couplers can handle 16 amps. If you have a look at this one, it actually says 10 amps. Now, if your Janus coupler looks like this and there's no strain relief, then you'll just go ahead and insert yours like that. In this case, there's a strain relief for this Janus coupler. I need to put the strain relief on the cable. Notice the orientation. It's that way. So I need to just slide the strain relief over the cable. Now, just twist the strands. Right, there it says live earth neutral, so I'm just going to flip it round so those fall down. And now I can just slot the wires into the spaces. There it says live, there it says earth, there it says neutral. Now I can tighten them one by one. Note only the wire goes in the slot. The jacket is on the outside. Now I'm flip this round. Right, now I just twist this round like that, and in this case, I'm going to put the strain relief in now, otherwise you will not be able to maneuver it while this is fastened. So the strain relief is now in place, I line that side, and I'm just going to seat the screw slightly. Right, it is not tight, what I'm going to do now is push this in a bit, line up the wires, I do not want it crossing over, so I'm just twisting this a bit. Right, now I'm going to tighten it a bit. Now if you have a look, it is uneven. I'm going to tighten from the other side now. 
Now, do not make this excessively tight, otherwise it'll just snap in the middle there. Also, you might find that the post breaks, and if you make it too tight, it'll embed into the plastic to such an extent it'll eventually tear the PVC. After a few seconds, it will have seated, and I'll just do one more turn. And that's it. Now I'll do a bend test. As you can see, when I'm bending it, it is not moving inside. I'll do a tug test. And you can see that the only thing that is moving is the entire post. This is tight enough. Notice there's a little bit of free play inside here. Right, now do a last check. You can see it says live, live, earth, earth, neutral, neutral. Sometimes, as I said, the live will be on that side and the neutral will be on that side. If yours does not have the label of live, just have a look at the way you would plug yours in. For example, my plug would go in there, so it would be like that. Notice that this is the live, this is the live on the right hand side. The live prong is sitting there, and that wire is connected directly to that opening over there. If I bring my meter quickly and do a continuity test, here you can see I've got on continuity, it'll make a noise when it's a short circuit. And if I measure there to there, you can see that this is a short circuit. So this is my live on this side. Now I just need to close it. Right, so there is my homemade extension cord, 16 amp cable, and thanks for watching and cheers.